ADB is a company in the power and automation business, and uh, part of the automation business is uh, robotics. We are one of the leading companies uh, when it comes to uh, industrial robots. Well, you know, our robots are used by, by customers that have extreme high demands. In some cases, we have customers that produce a car every minute. Now, you can imagine what it means if this robot or one of the robots stops for an hour. Before the Internet of Things days, uh, customers would maintain the robot according to a certain schedule, number of hours, but not every robot is used in the same way. Thanks to the Internet of Things, through the black box that we have in our robot, provides us with the data. We can see how a robot is used, which load, which torque, how many hours, and with that we can adjust our maintenance schedule to that individual robot. That reduces the cost for a customer and increases the lifetime of that robot. We talk about uh, Industry 4.0 sometimes, where uh, the first thing that happened really was the uh, steam engine, then it was the assembly line, then it was uh, electronic control systems, and now it's the internet of just not things, but of people, things and services. Well, the internet of things means a lot of things, but for us it's like things, people and devices are connected all the time. Once we get the majority of our robots uh, connected to the internet, then it becomes possible for us to mine that data and turn that into uh, to valuable information that can then uh, form the basis for new services. Now, with the Internet of Things, it's possible to get the snapshot of what's going on right now. It's no longer good enough to have a fast response time or a fast reaction time. So, what happens now is that we help our customers to foresee that a maintenance need is expected. So we see that the robot is in need of, of maintenance or we see that something is going on that's not normal. And then we act before we have a stop. An example where we had uh, problems during the night with a customer in Mexico. We wanted to get information about the robot equipment. Then by using a Jasper Control Center platform from France, we were able to analyze the problems on switch operator to communicate with the equipment and get what we need here. We can actually connect to the robot and, and get the information firsthand. And that way, quite often, we will be able to uh, help the customer correct the problem without uh, even sending a service person out there, which of course uh, saves a lot of time and uh, can increase the uptime for the customer. So we're definitely moving as a company to a services provider and this is also exactly what our customers want. And, and then of course it will be meaningful and valuable services that, uh, that we provide to our customers. Let me put it this way, to supply a robot to a customer is one thing, to have a, a device that produces all the time for a customer is another thing.